So we're going to work out the PKAs and PKBs for weak assets and weak bases. And so what we have here is this equation here. This one here is the acid. Uh, and so at half and half, you've got here, when it's fully reacted, uh, all of this is gone. And so you've got 100% of this over here. Uh, and so if you take that equivalence point and halve it, so there's 50-50, uh, you'll then have equal amounts of uh, all of these things here. And so um, at the half of the equivalence point, you've got half HA, half AA. So if you do the KA equation, products over reactants here, you'll be able to substitute these in so that, um, uh, say, substitute uh, HA as A minus in here, and you'll be able to cancel these out. And so what you'll have at the half equivalence point is the hydrogen ion concentration is equal uh, to the KA. Uh, and if that is the case, you can take the pHs of that. So the pKa is equal to the pH. Uh, so that means if you go over and take the pH at that point there, that will be the pKa. All right. Now that doesn't matter, as you'll see in the next slide. It doesn't matter if it is a acid or a base. Um, so if you go up to here, the half equivalence point, let's just make it exactly the same. Uh, for this particular one, the pKa of a weak base is also the half equivalence point. Okay, so uh, hopefully that might make sense. The PKB is a little bit more, uh, a little bit more complicated. Uh, so as I said before, it's the same thing, uh, although it's a little bit harder to prove. Now the ATAR will not ask you to prove this, and there's two ways of doing it here. Uh, you can't take a PKB reading straight away because uh, that is the hydrogen ion concentration, not the OH concentration. So uh, what I have here is two equations. This one here is the Arrhenius base one. This one here is a brunsted lowry one for a base. Uh, none of these um, give you H plus as the products, but I can swap this one around. Uh, and so that if I do a Ka, so if I swap this around, uh, so instead of this going to this, we've got this going to this, uh, which is quite arbitrary, uh, we can then do a Ka because uh, we can get H by itself. Uh, and so the same the same thing at, at, at the equivalence point, uh, there is none of this left over. Um, there's none of this base left over. Uh, and so you'll have um, all of this and, and for halfway along the line, you've got equal amounts of all of these things. Uh, so you can sub that in here and these will cross out. Uh, and so you'll have the Ka again equal. That's proving the equation again. So taking the pH, the negative logs of these things, um, and you'll get pK equals P, uh, pH. Now I've told my students you need to memorize two things that aren't in the data book. I've said that in previous videos. Uh, this is one of them. And so to get to the answer, the other one, by the way, is um, hydrogen ion concentration. I don't know why they don't have this in the data booklet, but better make sure you know that. So that uh, if you take the 10 to the power of the negative pH, that's the hydrogen ion concentration. Uh, and so you substitute uh, this into here and you'll get uh, the pKb is 14 minus the pKa. Now, uh, my colleague who uh, has better chem chemistry than me, um, he suggests it be done this way. So this is a completely different approach. Um, and so what we have here is uh, another way to write it. So this is uh, again, this is more of a um, Arrhenius, uh, sorry, not Arrhenius, a Brasted Lowry way to write it. Uh, and so if you do the KB for that, uh, you'll get this equation here. Now, this is at the half equivalence point. So again, um, oh, sorry, this one's being rearranged. Uh, so again, the ATAR won't ask you to do this. Uh, but this is, uh, if you want an understanding of how it works, this is how it goes. Uh, and so they've been uh, timed out to put over here. Uh, and so the OH concentration is by itself, we can get the pOH. Uh, and so the log, uh, because these are equal, the log of, uh, the log of uh, one uh, is zero. Uh, so 10 to the minus zero plus one, if you wanna look at it in the reverse way, uh, but you don't even need to know that. Uh, so that's how we eventually just cancel that out. Uh, and so we've got KB and, uh, KB and OH, so take the negative logs of these and you get PKB equals pOH. Uh, once again, sub that, the pOH is 40 minus the pH, so we sub that in to there, and we get uh, the same equation at the end. So that's a second way to derive um, this, this answer. Okay, so just a summary then. Uh, no matter if it's a weak acid or weak base being titrated, the half equivalence point uh, is, the, is the pKa. All right, so you could be finding the pKa at the acid or the pKa at the base. If you want to find the pKb, you have to minus uh, 14 from the pKa. 
okay? So it doesn't matter if it's an acid or a base, you could be asked uh, the pKa of the acid, or the pKb of the acid, or the pKa of the base, or the pKb of the base. All right, uh, if you like that, please uh, like and subscribe. All right, thank you.